Okay, so this is my very first YouTube video. My name's Amani. In case you didn't know how to pronounce it, there it is. Um, yeah, so basically I'm just starting this channel to kind of document like my fitness journey and things of that nature. So, yeah. This video is going to be about my tips for just beginners, like getting started in the gym or getting back to the gym, whatever your situation might be. Um, so yeah, tip number one is going to be gym intimidation. It's going to be kind of like it's weird going to the gym for the first time, but you just kind of have to realize that nobody cares what you're doing. Um, everybody is at the gym to like work out better themselves, you know, like focus on them. So you might feel like everybody's watching you, but they're really not like nobody's watching you. And yeah, tip number two is going to be to set a goal. So like always try to set like smaller goals for yourself. So don't just say like, oh my gosh, I want to have like abs next week. Um, awkward but maybe start by oh I want to go to the gym this many days a week and you know like start small and then like when you reach that goal make another goal or make a few small goals reach those make like you know but don't just start like a huge crazy goal that you can't meet because then if you like when you don't meet it then you'll be really discouraged and you probably like might just give up completely um, so yeah, and then so set your goal and start right now. So like set a goal and start today. Um, third tip, make a plan. Um, each time you go to the gym, um, like you want to know exactly what you're there to do and like, you know, just like have a plan. Um, I used to like, always go to the gym and just kind of wander around and like, oh, I think I want to do this. I think I want to do that. Um, and it just makes you like feel really like nervous and like scared and like intimidated by like the actual gym um so make a plan and stick to it um i like to like i have certain like youtubers and things that i like to like those are my fitness people that i like to like follow and like, try some workouts that i see them do and it's like if it's a youtube video or on pinterest or instagram whatever i'll just kind of write it down in my little notebook and then i'll take a picture with my phone and that way in the gym i can just look at the picture and i have it listed out like um lunges three sets of 12 or whatever number four is going to be to kind of clean up your diet so um you don't have to like be a full-fledged meal prepper or just like count your calories all day or anything like that um just like get rid of the bad things like the bad unnecessary stuff in your diet and you typically know what's bad like processed foods fried foods fast food yeah so i don't know like i've always kind of worked out um but i started seeing like my best results in these past like two months when i actually focused on my diet and just like one day i was like you know now's the time so I just got up and just threw away all the bad crap from my like pantry cabinets everything just threw it away um, so yeah yeah just throw it away and it just helps like you don't have to try to be super serious with your diet like starting off but just simply eliminating some like completely bad stuff for you will like you will see results number five is going to be to start simple so um you know don't see someone like hanging upside down on instagram and decide like it is my first day in the gym ever in my entire life and that's what i'm gonna try um because yeah like that's crazy so just kind of start simple and then work your way up so like i recommend just kind of maybe grabbing a pair of dumbbells or like a body bar grab a small little empty space where no one's around to like really just freak you out and um you know like do whatever you need to do like you can get any type of like muscle group workout with just a pair of dumbbells if you have like worked out before and it's just been a while off you've taken a while off then just avoid um you know like 
just doing way too much on your first like day back and um, I've done that a few times like not worked out for like a month or two um, and all of a sudden go in the gym and try to like lift when I was lifting when I left and yeah like you will feel like you're dying the next day like one time I couldn't even like lift my arms past this because it was like it was bad so tip number six wear stuff you're comfortable in this kind of goes for like your entire life, well, not just the gym, but on your way to work out, wear things you're comfortable in. So if you see someone working out in a sports bra or a crop top or like the shortest, like the short, short necky shorts that are all, you know, like up the butt a little bit. If you're not comfortable wearing that, then don't. Uh, it's okay to work out in a huge t-shirt or in like sweatpants, like wear whatever you're comfortable in. Like if you're not comfortable in it, don't wear it, period. So. Tip number seven is like do your research and when I say research uh, like nothing crazy like I'm a student I don't have time to be you know researching all my life uh, but just if you look up a particular workout on anything and like if it said lunges if you don't know what lunges or you don't know uh, particularly how to do it then just google it and you'll see like little videos and it'll, like that'll show demonstrations of exactly like what you should be doing what you shouldn't be doing like you know the knees over your toes and heels and blah so look it up i always recommend focusing on having the correct form versus trying to lift super heavy because you might be squatting or you might be lunging with a bar with like a hundred pounds on it but if your like knees and your legs are doing a bunch of crazy stuff then did you really do it no so always 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 focus on like form technique just google it if you have questions and just like on um, workouts with your weights as well and don't like sacrifice your form for like more reps or like a heavier weight and so i always um like in my research I've like found that most people say that with a specific weight like doing a particular workout you should be able to get at least eight reps in um, but if you can't get more than if you can get more than 12 then you'll want to go ahead and increase the weight because you always want to like um, challenge yourself so at least eight no more than 12 tip number eight is gonna be stretch and um, so pretty self-explanatory you should always do a few stretches to warm up before like stretch whatever muscle group you're about to like work out and then when you're leaving you want to like stretch it again so just always stretch just do it avoid injury avoid like bad stuff stretch um tip number nine is gonna be be confident um so yeah like this kind of has been in a few of the other tips but just like be confident ultimately like as you like take your own personal fitness journey and just work on you know bettering yourself you're always going to be working on building your confidence so just like believe in yourself like you know what you're doing you like you've done your research you have plenty of goals and now just work towards them um, don't worry about anything anything or anyone else um, just be confident and you will do amazing final tip tip number 10 it's gonna be challenge yourself so always 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 challenge yourself in like every aspect of your like just fitness goals and your life even and so challenge yourself if the weight is too easy like I said at least eight reps no more than 12 if you get to the 12th rep and you could literally like do it 10 more times up the weight this summer I gave myself the um my like huge, huge fitness goal was to be able to do a pull up. Um, so like you might know like for girls, pull ups are not that um, like natural in a way. Like we're not born able to do pull ups like guys are. So like we still can do them, but you do have to work for it. Um, so yeah, over the, at the beginning, I just had to do a different like small like, muscle movements to help me like get the strength to be able to do an actual pull up. Um, but every day I would still try one. And eventually I could do one, um, like it literally took me all summer to be able to do two. And then now I can do a five and it's October. So one day I'll be able to do like a lot of them. But every day I just go until failure and I'll do a few sets. So just always challenge yourself. 
because if I just tried to do a pull up a few months ago and just not been able to do it and just never tried it again and just said, you know, like, it's just not for me, then I wouldn't be able to do five pull ups today. So always, always, always challenge yourself. Um, yeah, but that is it on my, you know, tips for gym people. Now, like, like, subscribe, follow me on social media. If there's any like particular things you guys want to see, then definitely uh, let me know. Hit me up. Slide into my DMs. But yeah, that's it for this video.